everyone, I'm Brittany Noel and I'm gonna be your Sunny Health Instructor today. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a runner specific strength training workout. It'll be around 15 minutes or so and you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells. So make sure that you have that. And if you'd like a mat for comfortability, go ahead and grab that. Now overall the format will be that I'll take you through a quick warm up and then we're gonna go ahead and do three exercises at the circuit, so one right after the other. We're gonna repeat that circuit three times. Then we're gonna finish up with some core and we'll be done, all right? So if you're excited, let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with a few inchworms. I want you to reach down, try to touch the ground while keeping your legs straight. Walk yourself out into a push-up position. You're not gonna do a push-up though. You're gonna walk your hands back towards your toes. Try to get your heels down and stand all the way up. So we're gonna go back down, keep those heels down. Walk yourself out into a push-up position. Walk the hands back towards your feet, try to get the heels down. Now I completely understand if you don't have enough flexibility, if you need to bend the knees initially to get down, if you need to keep the knees a little bit softer as you come back, if you have to have more of this motion on the way back, that's fine, but just understand that the goal is for you to eventually increase your flexibility to a point that you can go ahead and do these inchworms with the legs straight, heels down, and get the full benefits of stretching out the hamstrings and calves. And I understand too that you might be like, oh, this is so hard already. Don't worry, this is the hardest warm-up exercise that we're gonna have to do. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and stretch out our quads. So we're just gonna pull back here, come down. Now, if you lose your balance, no worries, just put the foot down, it's all good. Point the knee down. We're stretching out the front of the legs here, just in case you're wondering. If you can get the heel to come straight back to your glutes, awesome. I don't have that much flexibility, so I actually have to go around, but do as I say, not as I do. Okay. And then we're gonna do a couple of squats. I'm actually gonna go ahead and face you for this. You're gonna have the feet hips width apart. You're gonna squat down, keep the knees behind your toes. Again, don't worry about how low you go. We're just trying to get everything loosened up in here. And we're gonna do about two more. Excellent. Then we're gonna come down here on the mat. We're gonna loosen up the hips a little bit more and do a glute bridge. So have the feet hips width apart, heels lined up with your toes. I like to have palms up. I'm gonna scoot these heels back and I'm gonna lift up, squeeze the glutes at the top and come back down. We're gonna do about 10 of these. Squeeze the glutes at the top. So also for this workout, we're gonna be counting reps. Something you should know about me. I'm terrible at counting reps. So please make sure that you are making sure that you are counting to 10 for you because chances are I might do eight or six, but we're gonna try our best to do 10, okay? We're gonna switch to plank here. So we're just gonna have a nice elbow plank. Make sure that the elbows are stacked underneath the shoulders. Have a nice level flat back. We're just gonna hold it here. Make sure that your butt's not up here. It's not sagging here. It's just here. And we're just gonna breathe it out. If you're shaking, it's fine. No one's judging you. It's a safe space. Okay, and then you're gonna come down. We're gonna go into a side plank here. I want you to have one foot in front of the other. Elbow lined up with the shoulder. Pop up and hold. We're gonna go for like 15 seconds. Again, if you want longer, go for it. If you can't make 15, that's fine. And Three, two, one, come down. Now you can either turn around or flip like me, it does not matter. And have that one foot in front of the other. Elbow here, pop up and hold. If you want the hand up, you can. You can have it on your side, you can have it here. Whatever works for you. Just make sure that the elbow is in the right position. And three, two, one, okay. I feel warm, I hope that you feel warm too. You're gonna go ahead and stand up. Okay, we're gonna do three exercises as I told you before. So let me go ahead and preview what those exercises are gonna look like. So first you're gonna grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do forward lunges. So your forward lunges will look like this. Step forward into a lunge, have a nice 90 degree angle in the front and back leg. Step back, other side. With your lunges, again, don't worry about how low you go. You don't have to touch the knee to the floor, but you do wanna keep the knee behind the toe. 
chest up nice and tall, squeeze the glutes. Then next we're gonna do a single leg deadlift. So you're gonna have dumbbells close to the shins. You're going to have soft knees and you're just going to come down, kick that heel up to the sky and come up. So it's important that you maintain a flat back on your single leg deadlift. Also try your best not to turn out and open up. You wanna keep that hip bone pointing towards the floor, kick that heel up to the sky. And again, keep the dumbbells close to your body, core engaged, okay? So that's gonna be your single leg deadlifts. And then we're gonna put our dumbbells down and you're gonna do push-ups as our third exercise. So have those feet about hips width apart. Also make sure that wrists are stacked underneath the shoulders. You don't want your elbows to go out too wide. You don't want them tucked in too close. You wanna find a nice balance, about 45 degrees, and just your standard push-up, okay? Awesome, awesome. So we're gonna do 10 of each one. We're gonna repeat three times, and then, well, I don't know why I showed you six. It was like three, three. We're gonna do it three times, and then we're gonna go ahead and do core, all right? So let's stand up. Let's start with these forward lunges. So it's 10 on each side, so 20 total, okay? And again, count yourself too. We're gonna try to do this together, okay? Your step forward. That's one. I will, I will occasionally shout out the number. It's for me, not for you. Now, make sure that again, you're keeping the chest up nice and high, that you're keeping the toes facing forward. I don't wanna see wonky toes going out to the side. Make sure that the heel is lined up with the toe. So I think that's 10, but remember, call me a liar if you'd like, keep it for yourself. Um, it's, all, it's all fine. What's important is that in your heart, you've done 10 on each side, okay? Okay, we're gonna do five more. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Last one, I think. Awesome, okay, now we're gonna do our single leg deadlifts. I'm gonna angle at 45 so you guys can see a little bit more. So, keep the dumbbells close. Everything moves together as one unit. So you're coming up and down, kind of like those little, I don't know, they're like little water birds or something. They like, they're these little things that are on like water fountains. I know you know what I'm talking about, but they kind of like bob up and down. That's what you're going for. Now, you don't wanna go down too low, just low enough to where you feel a stretch in your hamstring. And we're gonna switch. Ooh, something cracked. That was fun. No worries though. It's just, it's just my knee saying hello. Okay. And notice that I'm trying to keep the heel up. I'm sliding my foot as I come up. Don't turn out. Keep the back flat. I think I have two more. And last one. All right, we're gonna set these down. Set them down with intention. Don't just throw them down or flop them down and make sure that you're not gonna kick them. They're out of your way. And we're gonna do our push-ups. Okay. Keep the back flat. Head neutral, so not here. Not here. Neutral. Now, we're gonna take a little bit of a break, but not too much, about a minute. And then we're gonna start back with it. So let me tell you a little bit of why I selected these exercises. So for running, running is a unilateral activity, which means you're gonna be on one foot and then the other foot. So we wanna practice strength unilaterally, which means on one foot, which is why I chose the lunges. Also, when you're running, you do wanna have to maintain a certain level of balance. So that's where these single leg deadlifts are gonna be very helpful for that. Also, we wanna make sure that both our quads and our posterior chain, AKA our hamstrings and glutes, are very strong when we're running. So the deadlifts are gonna target the posterior chain and then lunges are gonna be more front and then push-ups are important because as we're running, we should be pumping our arms. So having push-ups, developing that strength in your upper body will help you with your running form. So that is why I selected the exercises that I did. And we're gonna go ahead and get back into it with these forward lunges. Now again, pick your dumbbells up with intention. Don't just like round at your back and pick them up. We don't want that. We want to 
maybe squat down, hinge down, whatever to get your dumbbells, okay? All right, we've got 20 more, so 10 on each leg. Remember, count for yourself. Okay, step forward. Now, as you start doing these, you're gonna feel the need to wanna rush through things because you're gonna get tired or you're just like, I gotta go, 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 go. It's not about the speed. It's about the control of this. Again, we're trying to build strength for running. So we wanna be going at a speed that allows us to fully activate our muscles. Okay. Now, I think this is 15 for me. So after this, we've got three more, two, one. All right. We're gonna go back to single leg deadlifts. Squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. I wish I had like a personal assistant that could do all the counting for me, but then I also kind of don't because then that would mean that I had to 100% do the workout amazingly. I won't lie, you guys, I'm a fitness professional, but I definitely will find ways to skate in my workout. Don't judge me. But you guys, you're not gonna skate, right? You're gonna do all 10. Okay, switch. Okay. But seriously, true story in college, they used to always be like, Brittany, you didn't do 10 reps. I'm like, what? Of course I did. And they're like, you did like six. I'm like, no, I didn't. It felt like 10. So can't be trusted. Last two. All right, set these down with intention. But I also love, please call me out in the comments and be like, that was, that was eight, right? Let me know, talk to me. All right, 10 push-ups. These are harder, so I'm gonna count so that I don't skate out. Eight, nine, 10. I don't know why I like to cheer after my push up. And I'm like, whew, yeah, girl, you did that. Okay, we're gonna take a break. Um, around a minute. Do what you think is best for you. I always recommend that in between these sets, you take at least 30 seconds, up to two minutes. But again, feel it out for you. Maybe the more times you do this, you might play around with the rest time. So I do give you the leeway to do that. I'm gonna take about a minute. Again, just to make sure that you're all good before we go into the third and final set. If you need to grab water, go ahead and do that. Now, uh, we talked about why each one of these are useful. I want you to keep in mind that you should, again, be keeping your core engaged with all of these. So really important for all the exercises that we selected. Also going into this last set, again, you're gonna be tired and I understand that. So, as you're being tired, just make sure that you're keeping track of your form. Also make sure that you're not going too fast because we have a tendency when things get hard to go really, really fast and then our form suffers. So we want you to really be able to lock into that form, okay? Also, if you're heading into your third set and you're like, this feels pretty good and you have the ability to up your weights, increase your weights. So if you're good on form, you're not too tired, feel free to increase. It's only gonna help you be stronger for running, all right? Okay. Let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells with intention. With intention. Okay. I don't know why I'm not putting them over there. I just don't feel like it today. Okay. You're gonna do lunges. If you lose your balance, it's okay, just reset. Cause it is a little bit harder to do forward lunges in place than it is when you're moving. It's kind of part of that balance piece. You can also narrow your steps. You'll notice that I was taking really big steps and now my steps are a little bit more narrow. It just helps with that stability piece. We're more than halfway done. Make sure that you're breathing too. Don't hold your breath while you're doing this. Last two. Keep the chest up. Excellent, okay. And Back to single leg RDLs. So, keep the weight close to you, back flat. Put the foot down in between if you need to, to regain balance. Keep the neck neutral, so don't look up, don't look down. Apologies for not telling you that sooner. Two, 
few more. And last one. Switch sides. If your hamstring is talking to you, you can talk back to it and just say, fine, I won't go as long, as low. It's two-way communication. But really make sure that you're squeezing your glutes at the top. You should feel only your legs working, nothing in your lower back. That's why we're maintaining that nice wet back. Now I'm gonna put my weights over here. makes more sense for me. Sometimes I have to have a conversation with my own self during my workout, like, work smarter, not harder, girl. Okay, 10 push-ups. I'm gonna do 10, you do 10. And we're gonna count. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, yay. I feel the bump, hopefully you do too. Okay, we're gonna do abs, we're gonna do core. So we're gonna do dead bugs and single leg bridge. So go ahead and sit on your bum and get in dead bug position. So first, lower back. See how there's space here? I can put my hand here, close the space. So. I'm gonna put my hand on my hip bones and I'm gonna tilt my pelvis under. So now there's no space. So I want you to pretend like there's a $100 bill that you're smashing and a gust of wind is coming. You don't wanna lose your $100 bill. So with this tilted pelvis back flat, have your hands directly over your chest. Lift your feet up. Okay, so now you're in the position of a dead bug. We've seen them before. So you're going to extend one leg in the opposite arm come back to this starting position. Always come back to start and the other side. We're doing 20 total. As you extend, make sure that you're keeping your lower back in contact with the mat, okay? Also make sure that you're coming back to start. If you can't fully extend, that's okay. Reduce your range of motion. You can also have the foot come up higher if that feels better for you, or if you're able to maintain that flat back on the floor. Also, I don't wanna see this happening where you're like, okay, no, it's opposites, okay? I also don't wanna see this where you're like an actual dying bug. No, we're humans, we have more coordination than the dying bug, okay? So, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do about six more. Stop in the center. You only get to go faster if you've got your coordination down, okay? And stop. Now, we're gonna do palms down. We're gonna do a single leg glute bridge. So you're gonna have one foot up. Now you can either bend it or have it like this. As you can see, my leg's like, no, we're not going all the way straight, and that's fine. That's between me and my leg. You do what your leg wants to do. Okay, up and squeeze. We're gonna do 10 on each leg, forgot to tell you that. Two more. So again, these glute bridges are really good for helping with that, uh, any potential imbalances that you might have between your legs when you're running. It's also gonna help to stimulate the strength in your posterior chain. So again, all in the back of your legs, which will help you a stronger, help you to be a stronger runner. Last one. Excellent, feet down. We're gonna go right back into dead bugs. 20. Remember, keep that $100 bill underneath there. You might not need $100, but that's a lot of burritos. I always think of things in terms of burritos because they're about 10 bucks each, and I really like burritos, so that's 10 burritos. Last one. All right. I don't know why I aggressively put my feet down like that, but <laughs> it happens. So you're gonna do glute bridges again. Also make sure that your knee's not cutting in or doing anything crazy. Um, if you need to reduce your range of motion, that's fine. Also, if you wanna point your heel to the sky, you'll notice that you definitely start to activate this leg a little bit more. So 
switch. But why? I don't know why I keep slamming my leg down. It's not that heavy. <laughs> And break. Now, you'll notice that those glute bridges, they start off like, oh, it's so easy. And then the more you do them, like your butt starts to give out. That's normal. So again, just to concentrate on the motion, really squeeze at the top, okay? Now, back to dead bugs, last set we got here. Fully extend if you can. Last two. All right, back to bridges. You'll also notice I'm doing palms up. It helps me to not cheat. Try to pause at the top a little bit to really activate. I know I made it harder but you'll thank me for it later. Okay, switch sides. I also forgot to point the heel that time. See, told you, when given the choice, I will always take the path of least resistance. This is why trainers even need trainers. Last two. And one. Awesome, okay. Let's just bring the knees into the chest real quick. Give ourselves a little stretch here. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and release one leg up to the sky, drop the other one down. Get a nice stretch in the back of our hamstrings. If you'd like to rotate the foot, go for it. And go ahead and transition to the other leg. Stretch out those hamstrings. Oh, yep, that's my dumbbells, it's okay. Excellent. Go ahead and rock yourself up. And I'm just gonna transition into a quick child's pose here to stretch out the hips. So have hips wider than hips width apart, knees wider than hips width apart. Stretch the arms out. Exhale. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me for that strength training workout with our dumbbells. I had a blast training with you, and I can't wait to see you in the next workout. Bye for now.